So please stop. You, uh, you didn't. Please talk. stop. You did not tell me. Please stop. Fucking acknowledge what I'm saying before you keep making demands. You are not a school okay. teacher. Shut okay. the fuck up. Don't Listen to up. me, and then you can fucking respond. Understand? See how she flinched when Johnny raised his voice. Like she already knew what was coming, so what's with the pretense? She's the one who recorded the audio, so obviously she knew that Johnny would raise his voice and she was already prepared to act scared. It's like the day she pretended to be scared of Johnny and flinched when Johnny walked towards her. The man was just trying to go get his lunch and Amber pretended she had just seen a ghost making Johnny laugh at the absurdity of her behavior. It was after she had explained all the horrendous things that Johnny did to her in the Australian incident. So acting like she was scared of Johnny was a continuation of the act she had started while still on the trial seat. The thing is there is a picture of Amber and Johnny on a boat ride in Australia a few weeks after that said incident, where she's seen hugging him and casually taking pictures. This is the time she should have flinched holding the man who assaulted her, not several years later when he's just walking past her with guards around her. She also chose the wrong timing to flinch like that. She's supposed to get the jury's favor so she should have flinched before they left not after, or she should have acted afraid when she passed Johnny's seat to go to the trial stand. It's quite easy to tell that Amber was never abused and that her scared antics are not working on anyone. When a victim of abuse presses charges or gets a restraining order on their abuser, they are usually scared for their lives, like literally not knowing when their abuser might show up to get revenge on being outed. But Amber went to Johnny's hotel and started begging him to hug her and to sleep with her. That is just a few weeks after she had filed a restraining order from him. That's not how the victim and abuser cycle works. Usually the abuser goes after the victim to hurt them while the victim tries staying as far away from their abuser as possible so as not to get hurt. But from this audio, it's pretty clear who went after who and who was trying to stay away from the other. Amber went after Johnny while Johnny was trying to stay away from her, making it pretty obvious that Johnny never abused Amber and she should stop exaggerating her emotions and pretending to be scared. Based on the victim and abuser cycle, it's even allowed to say that in this situation, Amber is acting as the abuser and Johnny is the victim. 17 colon 24. Was she pretending to pass out then remembered she was in court? She is definitely an actress and a bad one at that. Her acting coach had claimed that Amber didn't know how to fake cry but that she kept crying when she was with Johnny. I have to agree with this acting coach. Amber doesn't know how to fake cry. We saw her do it in court and it was a disaster. She was sniffling and raising her voice but no tears were coming out. And it's not like she was trying to hold the tears in. No, she was trying her best to make tears fall but to no avail. It was also so creepy how she would switch from being sad to smiling in just about a minute, and how she had to pause her crying whenever there was an objection made before going back to it when the next question was asked. She's also been acting weird with the jury, it's like she's forcing them to listen to her and instead of telling her story to the entire court she tells it to the jury and the jury alone. When an attorney asks a question instead of answering the attorney, she answers the jury. I can't imagine how uncomfortable the jury is feeling right now. The way she says it is if someone came up to her face and called her a liar proves that she knows she's a liar or is afraid people have noticed she's a liar. It feels as though she's begging the court and everyone else not to notice her lies and to just believe her. At this point, she has to tone down on her aunt and stop overreacting so much. It's giving guilty vibes. Anyways, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.